after serving 10 years and 11 days in, in the prison, and despite of his rehabilitation and good works, and wanting to live a life to help others, my son was killed on the morning of Wednesday, 29th of April at 12.33 a.m. Many people desperately tried to save him. My son was a good man. He died a good man and was so loved. He got caught up with something bad and the anger and shame I felt when he was arrested was gone a long time ago. Mayu himself was so ashamed for letting me down. Mayu accepted full responsibility for what he had done and apologized to everyone. When we talked about what would happen to him next, he asked me to stay strong. He also told me he was not scared about the execution, but was very sad to leave us. He also told me that he will leave everything to God. Whatever happens, he is okay with it. As Australians, we should be immensely proud of the fact that we have not committed such a barbaric, violent act on another human being for almost 50 years. My grief is personal. I lost my friend last week. But the senselessness of what happened to my friend has made me see very clearly that the act per perpetrated on him was as close to evil as I've ever seen.